Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm. We could probably finish up this level in this session. Yeah, dude. That's my guess. Can the eel come out to play? <laughs> Isn't that the one you just got? No, I, I just did plunder in the sunken ship. Mm. This is the one that's even more terrifying, because you gotta freaking Go in his mouth, right? Well, you gotta stare him in the face, and then he peeks his head out, and he's like, huh? Huh? Then he goes, Rah! Well, I mean, the audience can't see me, so... <laughs> I, I saw an eel in real life once in Hawaii. Oh, oh, you did? Yeah. Was it like, was it in like an aquarium? No, it was in the coral reef. Whoa! Yeah. Dude, how big well, was not it? The, not the coral reef, but... <laughs> <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef of off, off the coast of Australia. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it was in a reef. So, a coral reef. Wow. Yeah, how, it was cool. How big was it? Uh, I don't know. It was a long time ago. Oh, fucking... I, I only saw part of it. But, yeah, it freaked me out. And then I told you I also put my hand in a tank with an electric eel at one point. Uh, oh, it was an electric eel? Yeah. Ah, damn. Yeah. I don't it was remember. for a very, very, very brief period of time, but... Wow. Yep. Holy crap. So it was like, was it like safe for the kids to do? No. No? No, no. It was like roped off, and you were not supposed to get near that shit. Forgive me. I, I, I vaguely remember this story. Please tell me it again. Uh, yeah. I was somewhere. I don't fucking remember. I was very young. Like, three? Two or three? And uh, when my parents, like, looked away for... You know, a brief moment, I fucking went under the barrier and stuck my hand... <gasps> Jesus Christ. That's fucking terrifying. And went, uh, stuck my hand in a tub with some electric... Oh, games. no. Oh, fail. Or one or something like that, and, uh, immediately, you know, my hand got pulled out, but I didn't get shocked or anything. Okay, good. <laughs> so... It was roped off, like, don't come in here, guys. Yep. But still easy to access? Well, it was like, um, I don't know, you know, like, the queues at Disneyland, how they're just, like, they're posts, and then they have, like, the, the thing connecting all the posts? The rope or yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, It was yeah, like yeah. that, and I was young enough, I just went right under it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, if it's something... And most people aren't, like, retarded enough to go into the, you know, God. eel exhibit. You, th you think they would, I like... I little kids, so. Oh, dude, watch this. <laughs> I just got the, the next star. star. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. For some uh, reason, that one took me forever to get, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. This, it took me forever until I figured out how to get this one. Because it's, like, so off the main course, you know? Well, no, I mean trying to land on that thing. Oh, land on the, the spire. Yeah. Where, realistically, if you were to shoot yourself towards that, it would be a... <laughs> yeah. It would shank you. <laughs> Impale neck. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Beautiful. Shish kebab. One sixth done, son. Nice. Dude. Oh, we are? Yep. Oh, wow. 20. Damn, dude. Oh, man. The 100 coin challenge in this is gonna blow. Yeah. It's gonna suck. Yeah. All right. Let's go see that childhood <laughs> scarring bastard. <laughs> oh, wow. We're already on, like, episode six. Yeah, dude. Shit. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. We the only ability. recorded like six episodes of Zelda. Yeah, dude. But they were longer. And I did <sighs> some shit off camera. And one of them was a half hour long. Yeah, I know. Is that going to be the longest video we've ever done? I don't know. If the whole thing stays in, maybe. Oh, God, dude, that's creep. God. The, dude, the longest one we ever did was in Banjo-Kazooie when we collected all of them and just montaged. That took like an hour and a half for some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Rip on, boy. God, that eel still nice. freaks me out to this. Just, I'm just thinking of how slimy it is. And how slimy. Ugh, gross. I but, remember. Uh, yeah, dude. Remember when we went and collected all the... All the stop and swap eggs? Yeah. Yes, I do. It took fucking forever. That was a good time. By good time, AIDS. <laughs> you sure like to describe things you don't like with the word AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get banned off Twitch now for saying that. Really? Yep. Saying what? something is cancer or AIDS. Well, huh. guess what, Twitch? I think you're AIDS. Oh. Fuck you. Damn. Yeah, they're stupid, dude. They're... I don't know, it's just a bunch of, like, dumb shit that they get offended at. It's like... I am uh, offended. Obviously, I'm not trivializing fucking having AIDS or HIV, dude. And I have a lot of sympathy for people and shit. I'm, I'm not, like... I don't know, dude. It's just something that's fucking awful, and I'm saying it's awful by comparing it to 
AIDS. I mean, you're speaking the truth. Yeah. There's nothing. Here, there's one thing my aunt taught me that I think. Did I already talk about this on Goobs? There's nothing know. wrong with the truth. No. One time I, I went to a birthday celebration with my relatives, and I have two aunts. One of them is more on the sensitive side, like me. You like fire ants. <laughs> um. Fire <laughs> ants. Arr, keep out. That means you. Arr. Arr. Anyone entering this here cave without permission will meet certain disaster. Arr. Wow. Oh my gosh. So you went to some family shenanigans. Yeah, and uh, I have two aunts. One of them, she's more on the sensitive side, and my other aunt, she's not. I mean, I guess she is sensitive, but she's she has kind of a rough uh, exterior. She's very blunt. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of like you, but I'd say like a little more blunt. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, but I still love her, of course. Um, um, one time, <laughs> so my aunt, who's more sensitive, uh huh, was talking to. You know, let's call, the sensitive one. Let's call her H. The more blunt one. Let's call her J. So. Let's get to the story. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Captain. Captain Crunch. Sorry, dude, I'm fucking fuck. tired today, dude. Um. Oof, oof. I'm glad you're playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm getting close to beating Final Fantasy, by the way. Oh, you are Final Fantasy VII. Yep. yep. Dude, hell yeah. How much further do you have to go? Mm, probably like five hours. Did you get to the point where, uh... No spoiling fucking shit. You've spoiled so much shit today. Have I? Yeah. Oh, no, I No, have. casual shit. <laughs> casual shit. Not like... Do you guys know about this movie that's coming out next week? Let me tell you the whole spoiler. No. No, I said you didn't do anything. Oh, like oh. That. Sorry. I said nothing major. I fucking... It's not like you did. When people say did or didn't, I, for some reason, I always fucking mess it up. Oh, it's okay. like, oh, you said did? And then they're like, what? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> so what does your aunt say? So the one who the sensitive call her S for sensitive, okay. and the blunt one B. So blunt. B, she she said something like this is this and blah 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 blah. The sensitive one was like, oh oh don't don't say that. Uh. And the did blunt she say like that? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. She she, she said it. She was like, well, she was kind of offended by it. She was like, oh no, don't don't say that. Like she was actually kind of sad. And sure. the blunt one said, "There's nothing wrong with the truth." And when right when she said that, something clicked in my brain. I just had a ah! moment. Are it you was doing the eight coins. Yep. Make sure to do the hundred. Oh co- fuck me! Here we go. I can again. do the hundred coins if you want me to. No, I can do it. Okay. Um. So, so yeah, like, right at that moment, I realized, she's right. There is nothing wrong with the truth. I mean, you don't want to be an asshole, but still. Good, good addendum to that. Yes, there is, like, there is a balance. Yes, you want to be truthful with people, even if the truth hurts. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know, it's better to just be truthful <laughs> with someone. Like, if your co-host makes a shitty, I am Groot, joke for two minutes straight on the show, and you have to say... Do what he asked you to do and tell you if it wasn't funny. And then get called overly critical. (laughs) Well, I mean, again, nothing wrong with the truth. You are critical. However, that was when it was appropriate. And I didn't realize it because I was offended because I'm a sensitive, pansy-ass bitch. No. Anyways. (laughs) (laughs) But yes, yes, it's important to be truthful. Honestly, if, like... I don't know. There's different philosophies with this. I definitely subscribe to the just fucking be truthful... Even if it hurts someone's feelings, sometimes. If it's really... Okay, somebody else, I don't know who said this. So, I can't credit it. I did not come up with this. But these are standards that I try to live by. That I heard somebody else say. And I think are, like, great standards. Let's hear it, dude. Okay. Be truthful. uh, Except... Like, be blunt and truthful. Except when what you're going to tell someone will, like... uh, is, Is something about them they cannot change. Oh. So, let's say somebody has, like, a big nose, and they're really self-conscious about having a big nose. Mm. They ask you, oh, I think my nose is really ugly. Do you think so? In that case, I think it's more appropriate to lie and just say, no, dude, you are you don't have a big nose. Really? Yeah, because they can't change it, right? I mean, technically they could if they got plastic surgery, <laughs> okay. but yeah. <laughs> you understand what I mean, though. Yeah, like, I, I, it's, it's part of, they were born with it. Yeah. It's who they are. Uh-huh. And I'm not saying that's absolute 100% all the time. Maybe, you know, if someone, if you know them and they're not going to get offended by that, but like, let, like weigh the consequences, right? If you tell them they have a big nose and they can't change that really, like, 
what good does that really do? You're just going to like lower their confidence. They might be self-conscious about it. Yeah. Dude. You're really not going to do them a whole lot of good. Um, if someone wants to enter into a, a nose beauty contest and asks you, yeah, you might want to be blunt and let them know like, yeah, you, you've got a big nose. Maybe that's not the thing for you. <laughs> that's like, have you seen the movie Office Space? Yes. Uh, yeah. Look about that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to need you to comment on this weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yep. So, if the rule of thumb is that if someone cannot change what you're going to criticize them for, don't criticize them. Keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Just and like I couldn't change the fact that I wanted to say I am Groot for the entire episode for 10 minutes straight. I could not change that about myself, and the fact that you criticize me about it is just not nice. Correct. Correct. I'm just a real demon. I, I'm a dick. <laughs> Tell, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, Anyways, I'm, I'm what do you think shit. about that? Like, I agree, paired okay. with the, the truth is... Just so you know, I wasn't actually that offended by the guru thing. I'm just no. being a dipshit. Um, so, um, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I was offended that you were offended. It, it <laughs> well, really... I'm offended that you're offended that I'm offended. Well, now I'm getting offended that you're upset about this. I'm upset that you're offended that I'm offended that you're offended that you're upset about this. Let's be offended together. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes. Fuck me, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at the way this freaking cannon thing clips into the wall. Yep. Glorious. Okay, I need to find that last freaking red coin. Um, you also need to find uh, 47 more coins. Yeah, dude. I... Go in the cave. Yeah, it's time to go in the cave. You get 20 coins right off the bat, or 25. No, dude. Right-hand the... side, blue coins. Um, but yeah, no, dude, I, I totally agree with you. It's being... Telling the truth sucks to hear sometimes, but... It's better to know the tr truth than it, it's it's very complicated because emotions. Um, it's hard to be logical about emotions, you know. So that's why pe people are always like, "You shouldn't be able to say this on Twitch." Oh yeah, well fuck you. I should be able to. It's yeah. so subjective. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a big. I've said this off off camera a lot. I'm a huge proponent of free speech. Agreed. Like, even if it means someone saying something like repulsive and disgusting. Uh, I think that they should take on, you know, the uh, consequences from society. Like, if mm -hmm. somebody says something disgusting and repulsive, like, um, uh, I don't like people who are shorter than five feet tall. Like, again, I don't think that, uh, just for what it's worth. That's fine. Yeah, well, that's like a dick move to say, but... Yeah. Oh, 30 coins. There you go. Yes, nice. excellent. Okay. Yeah, I knew there were a bunch in here. Yeah, um, but I still defend that person's right to say that. But I also defend other people who want to criticize them and call them out and tell them that's, like, inappropriate and repulsive, etc. Like, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, and I think people should be able to say it no matter how fucked up it is. <laughs> see, that's <laughs> In the, my eyes. See, that's the thing. Like, I totally agree with you, dude. It's just, like, you can have yes. that mindset. Yeah, dude. Good job. Right. I hate getting the 100 on this one. Yeah, dude. Um, Good job. I totally agree with you, but then, like when you're actually in that moment and you're arguing with somebody who's being a douche and you yeah. just you just feel mad and you just want to rage at them yeah it's like you don't even care about it it's like why the fuck would you say that fuck you like for me at least yeah emotions wise once i'm in that state where it's like i'm just mad at somebody who said something mean that's because even yeah, if it's you, true you get triggered with emotion rather than logic right right now we're out of the situation it's easy not to be attached or heated mm -hmm. so we're speaking logically right? yeah whereas in the moment it's like it's i don't emotional. fucking care about that fuck yeah. you don't say that yeah so yeah, yeah and that's true and again like uh just because something should be that way doesn't mean that that's practical yeah dude, so. it's just it's just dealing with reality some yep. people have a harder time dealing with the fact that some things are true mm -hmm. you know we've had some really deep, deep conversations. conversations today i think it's because i'm so tired I'm it's because like, you're not serious. all <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, we're... But I'm not actually Elliot. This is just a, uh, a replacement co-host. Um, <laughs> where did it spawn? Dang it, I think I... Wait, I think I know. Is it on the ship? Maybe. If it's not on the ship... <sighs> I should have been paying attention. We'll cut to it. Oh, look, it's a box. I'm gonna... Ah. Hello, Mr. Box. Ah. Fuck you, Box. Bastard. I'm racist against boxes. Fuck! Get out there! You're boxist. I'm boxist. You What's know, your favorite kind of dog? 
Sorry, I was thinking of Boston Terriers. Because boxes and whatever, man. Well, you always say you're a dog, so naturally, you. Me too.